I'll bring you tidings of joy and anger. Just as a note for Pasta, who does the descriptions of these videos and manages this channel, today's the day Chewbacca shit on the floor, and I nearly killed her because she did it on the mat, and then I like, oh, it was bad. Love my cat. She's old, and she's a bitch sometimes, which doesn't mean to be. Anyway, two packages. I know what's in that one. I have no idea what's in this one. And it's like wrapped. Like every single side is... I'm going to have to do that thing I do where I just like... Hope for the best. Like I don't, I don't even know how to get into this. This is hilarious. I'm just gonna keep sliding. My, what is it? It's like solid. Oh God! There's another taped box under this taped box. Maybe this is a joke gift. Maybe someone sent me something as a joke. Oh, I know what this is probably. Yeah, I know what this is now. It came, because it comes from Europe. I should probably give it the same virus precautions as I did everything else. Oh my god. Who does this? Are they worried they're going to steal it? Fuck you. That's interesting. That's something I've never seen. Foam and scotch tape. At least I understand the structure of this. There's a human hair on it. I can clone somebody. Ah, oh, be super cool. Here you go. Okay. This is the Fearless Audio Rollins, I think? It's a very expensive set of IMs. And, um, yes. Wow, that is, I'm gonna play with this, fuck that. This has got like padding on it and it's leather. It's embroidered with a Fearless logo. That is boss. We've got tips, which I care not about because none of them are Dakoni tips. And then here are the actual IMs. Take these out for a second. So I could express the wires. Two wires, okay, so we've got three and a half millimeter. That is actually very pretty, like that is. I will give it the Prit award for pretty. And then also a three and a half millimeter. Why would you get two three and a half millimeters? But this one's got, I know um, Viking Weave uses this sort of connector. That is insanely well, like the weight on that like, I get it, it's quality, but it doesn't need to weigh this much. It's beautiful to touch, though. And this is a much thicker wire, actually. I wonder if this is a... This must be a made cable, maybe? Because it doesn't look as... Like, it's, it's obviously got better components and shit, but it's... The weave's a little, like, up and down, and there's, like, that bit that's sticking out too far. So this might be an added, upgraded, probably silver litz cable with a, I don't know, it's a Fearless Audio cable. It says Fearless Audio on the actual thing. So I guess this is Fearless's upgraded cable, and that's the standard cable. And here are the actual IMs, which are very light. And things that cost this much should never be this light. I just, it's my opinion. Although I will say, Unique Melody had a set of like, machine, like 3D printed metal cage I am is that weighed nothing yeah, these are the Rollins fearless Roland they look like I don't know something that a, an alien would poop out with all the solar systems in it kind of like men in black so two pin connector by the way not MMCX three holes so this is a nice set of IMs that I will be I don't want to put them down the table reviewing and when I ship them wherever they're going I will not be using, although I will say, this is one of the nicest containers that's ever like held something that's exactly the right size, but fuck that box. Fuck it right to hell. To hell. Let's keep all this stuff together. This, 
Um, this has a little story behind it. So I've been watching Technology Connection. Pasta! Link the YouTube channel Technology Connection in the description. It's a, a nerdy dude who talks about old technology. And I watched his whole series on Laserdisc, and he did another one on like the video disc, the Magnavox video disc, I think, or RCA video disc, and how it could have competed with, with VCRs and shit, or whatever. The point is I was watching that, and he mentioned something about TV, obviously, in the, like the early days. And then I had a vision of my grandparents' house when I was a kid, and they would always have a brand new copy of the TV guide on the counter, like, like the thing between the two seats. So my grandparents could sit there and watch the TV and they know it's on the TV because TV guide. And I imagine that was like the, that was it. That's how you found out what was on TV was you got the TV guide. And I went, I wonder if people are like assholes or collecting TV guides. So I went to eBay just to see. And then this issue popped up and I went, well, there goes eight of my dollars. Cause I can't link you this, unfortunately. Pasta, you can link to a search results of eBay Searching for um, vintage TV guides. I'm gonna be real gentle cutting this open because I'm probably gonna use this envelope to transport it. And like, I had no intention of going there and buying a TV guide from 1982. But I mean, how could I not? How could I not? I'm a huge fan of Magnum PI. If you don't know what Magnum PI is and you're a 12 year old watching this channel, that mustache. It's enchanting. Higgins, enchanting. What did he call the dogs? Oh fuck, what did he call the dogs? I'll let the comments figure out what he called the dogs. He, uh, the boys? No, oh, shit. Oh, Magnum PI. Oh my God, look at these batteries. A $50 battery, 30% off tires. Uh, I, look, I don't collect bullshit. I've got anime figures and art. Everything else in this apartment is something that is a physical, useful thing. A table, a chair, a, a fucking another table. Equipment, equipment, cooking supplies. Art and anime art, and uh, that's it. So this counts as a not actually required thing. What was on? Nightline with Ted Koppel. Saturday Night, Lo Saturday Night. Buck Henry Host and singer Leon Redbone. Saturday Night Live, that's what they're talking about. Free Sports Illustrated. America is on the improve. Is that a thing? Lifetime books, home repair and improvement. Show how easy it is. Look at the hairstyles, Jesus. I should send this in. Oh, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of, oh, it's, it's disintegrating. Doesn't matter, I just need the cover. I was gonna open it. The Elephant Man, a background story. This. I needed it because Magnum fucking... Oh my god. Barney Miller, Laverne and Shirley. Earthquake, the Incredible Hulk. Hulk must prevent nuclear plant from exploding. 4 p.m. Thursday. Fuck! I was not born early enough. This is before I was born, by the way. In case you're wondering. This is January 2nd through 8th of 1982. And I, I really should have been around because Casper the Cartoon is on. I Dream of Genie is still airing. Probably in repeats. Uh, Andy Griffith, I Love Lucy, Dick Van Dyke, it's gotta be like Nick at Night or something. Notre Dame versus Virginia. Brett Maverick. Holy shit, I love the movie Maverick, but the one with, um, Riggs, Martin Riggs from, what's it called? The Ambush Murders. That's the dude from Westworld, isn't it? Pasta, murder mystery based on a true story. You're not the only one dying for a fur coat. Oh, Passport to Extinction, Part 2. Portraits of a tr uh, portraits to treasure. A new Today dawns tomorrow. Tomorrow morning is a Today show. Look at that. Ron Burgundy, everyone. With the first female news lead. This is, this is the age. Free roses. I grew up in this town. I'm a Chicagoan. Who knows Chicago sports? Chet Kop Kopak. Seriously? Jesus Christ. What was this? Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Christy. It's not Christy Brinkley, is it? I think it's Christy Brinkley. The Great Gretzky. Oh my God. All right. Holy. Look at them knockers. 
Everyone needs a little comfort. Southern comfort. Is that Trump? Father Murphy? I don't know. Look. Magnum's on the cover. I will cherish this for as long as it doesn't men melt. I'm going to just bring it to my brother's house, by the way. And he's got some stuff on his coffee table. It's not TV guides, obviously. I'm just going to place this like that and walk away. And at some point, he's going to see it because you can't not see it. And his life will also be changed. This will be the only one. I, if, I, if I were to go into some weird asshole phase where I just started collecting old TV guides, I would want Knight Rider, the A-Team, Airwolf. Um, these are things I used to watch and repeat as a child. This was on TV when I was like very small and they turned me into the man I am today. I think that's it though. Like A-Team was big, Knight Rider was big, and Magnum fucking PI was big. Those are the three big ones. Airwolf, I don't know if you'll even find a cover for that. Anyway, so yeah, this has been an unboxing with Zeos and it's probably a full 10 minute one because I went through grave detail of that. Um, and Fearless with these beautiful it's really, it's a serious case. I like the serious case. Moving on.